all right y'all i'm gonna be really uncomfortably close to you guys right now but i just want to say thank you guys for pushing me to make this video i know it's been a very long time um i think it's been a year i don't want to talk about it but it's been a year um and i just want to update you guys on what's been going on with this setup so yeah here we go part four of the room renovation let's go Okay, so a lot of things have changed and I don't know if you guys notice, I'm gonna complete other side of the room where I used to record and show off my setup like a year ago. So there's reasons for that and I wanna talk about that during this video. But I also wanna show you guys a couple things that I am upgrading and adding onto the setup, which are all these things. There is a monitor on my bed over there and a couple plants and Ikea stuff that I purchased today. And I also got a new mouse for my setup, so that's really, really cool. All this stuff I've just been waiting on I'm just doing it and it's kind of finally happening at this point because everybody's been pressurizing me to do a new update and I surely do deserve deserve that so <laughs> I want to I want to work on this room a little bit more and again this is my room my bedroom uh, and it does a lot of things for me I, I eat here I shoot here I play here I I watch movies when I need to and I, it's just it's just an amazing room and I'm very grateful to have this place uh, to call for myself I just want to say thank you to everybody who has come along and watch this room change and grow and not grow and now grow again so <laughs> it's been definitely a journey i know this room has been featured in text there's a setup wars and random frank b's room tour project uh, i'm very thankful to those two channels for featuring me uh, it means a lot to me because i watched a lot of those videos like years ago uh, just for inspiration and i definitely could not afford them at those times when i was a younger kid but now that I, I can do that i'm very very grateful to have this place uh, and call it my home. So yeah, we're gonna get started now and I just wanna start off talking about why I have changed a couple of things and my reasons for them. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I've changed is actually move my desk to this side of the room, another corner. This used to be where my bed was, but I moved it here closer to the cabinet because I wanted a more open floor plan, I guess, and have better spacing for my uh, bed, my my TV, my desk, and everything, and it worked out pretty fine. Only thing that I don't like about this space, it kind of blocks away this shelving unit I have over here. You guys can't see it, but it has all my pops uh, and my keyboards. Uh, let's start off with the monitors. I know from previous videos and also from my old photos from Setup Wars, uh, I had a monitor, a long ultra-wide monitor above my 27-inch. I got rid of that and I gave it to my dad. The reason being is because whenever I'm working and it looked cool on the picture and I think it's still pretty cool to have. I think it just depends on your height. I'm not a tall guy. I'm like five foot six. When I'm working and gaming, I'm like chill or whatever. I got to look up and my neck hurts. So I got rid of it and I decided to work on actually two monitors still, but one on the side. And this monitor is very tiny. I don't know if you guys can see but it's a 15 inch monitor and I have it flipped to portrait mode and it's powered by USB-C and has an HDMI on top. They will get fixed tomorrow because I'm getting a right angle adapter for both of them and they will be more flush to the actual system. But yeah, I have these two monitors working pretty well and the reason why I am upgrading today in terms of monitor, I'm gonna be upgrading this 27 inch to another 27 inch, which is a 4K version. This 15 inch monitor is actually a 4K model. Anytime I wanna do anything with wallpaper engine or just work within my system, because this is a QHD monitor right here, my 27 inch, I'm having a hard time scaling everything and moving things around. So what I did was just get a 4K 27 inch. So this monitor, as you guys have seen from my previous videos, I like to give away. I'm actually gonna be giving it to my dad again because he's never experienced 144 hertz before and he's been a gamer for I don't even know how long he's an old man but he he wants to try it out and try out G-Sync and all that stuff and he has a really cool setup and I, I just want to give him an opportunity to play uh, with 144 hertz and especially with Battlefield coming out he's a big Battlefield guy and he also likes Left 4 Dead and Back 4 Blood just came out so I was like you know might as well give him a little treat you guys are probably asking Wayne just use that monitor as a second monitor I I don't really need it as a second monitor I think this uh, 15 inch monitor is perfect for me it does everything I need to do like when I need to get a task go let's move it to the side and that's perfectly fine and also like the comment section is so long and whenever I'm reading Twitter it's like the whole it's like my phone, so 
I don't mind having a small secondary monitor. I don't really use it too much. I just use it to have something on the side when I'm playing games or editing and whatnot. Any other notable changes? I haven't really changed much. Uh, the things I'm going to change today is just the monitor and my mouse. I, I have a Razer Viper. Yeah, I I've been using this mouse for a while now and I kind of I've started to hate it just because it doesn't have good battery life. And I'm going to upgrade to a better mouse, which is the Logitech. G Pro Super Light, which I've been wanting all last year, but it was kind of sold out, but now it's back. So super happy that I got this today. And for the people who are asking, this is the monitor I got. I got a literally open box out of Best Buy. Thank you, Q, I'm my mans. I used to work there actually. Uh, he gave me a nice little discount. Yeah, I'm gonna switch this out and also switch out the mouse. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna change it up a little bit and do kind of like an ASMR style unboxing for most of the products that I got for today. Uh, first is the G Pro X Superlight. It's a beautiful mouse and I personally just like the shape better. Uh, I've been trying to get this mouse all last year, but it was very hard to get and you had to pay extra premium to grab one. Uh, it's 10 grams lighter than the Viper Ultimate and it has about the same battery life as the Viper Ultimate. However, uh, I like to have the RGB on my Viper Ultimate, so it usually dies much faster. So now that I can't really turn on any RGB lights on the Super Light, since I'm forced to just play without any lights on, which again, reserves battery, so that's great. Cool packaging here with the play to win box with the charger cable and the wireless dongle that's included in this little case. All right, so it's time to get rid of my old monitor. I'm just gonna take it off this dual monitor stand and it's a simple quick release plate on the back of the monitor and it just snaps right off. Now I'm gonna put the new monitor, the GN950 down and then I'm gonna take the plate from my previous monitor and pop it on the GN950. And it's as easy as just putting four thumb screws within the plate and the monitor and it's good and ready to be put back on to the stand. All right, and this is when you just snap it back onto the stand. And what's great is that this monitor is made by LG, same with my old monitor. So I just used the same power adapter and I didn't have to change any wiring in my desk setup. And this is how the monitors look. I have a 15 inch 4K monitor on the left and now a 27 inch 4K monitor on the right. Looks great. All right, so the next thing I did was went to Ikea and got a couple of these fake plants. I can't ever take care of plants, so this was the best alternative for me. And it turned out pretty well. I had a couple of pots and just had it next to my pop section. And I think it turned out pretty great. And quick tip, if you guys have any lens hoods that you guys never use, use it as a pot. I think it looks pretty good. All right, y'all, we're gonna be opening this box and it's a fake tree. I can't take care of plants whatsoever, so this is the best option for me. Alright, so I couldn't help myself and also get this little table lamp. I saw it in the IKEA light section and it looked really, really cool with the Edison bulb. The bulb is super large, but it emits a very bright light and looks really, really cool in contrast well with the dark gray walls. I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth in this room and I decided to get it and it turned out pretty cool. All right, so next thing is this floor lamp that is inspired from a Danish street lamp and it looks really, really cool. I just get out of the box and it's actually two parts. I think this is just the rod and then the base. So let's get it open. All right, so I have the floor lamp connected now. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. Sheesh, that's bright, super bright. Um, and again, this is my LifeX bulb, so I can adjust the colors. So if I change the color, yeah, there you go. So I can go ahead and change the color, whatever I so please. I can like shine it somewhere. It looks pretty cool. 
All right, so I also got this little drawer from Amazon and it just attaches to my desk and it holds my hard drives, pens, pencils, and knickknacks. So lastly, I finally hung up three artwork pieces from EMW Art. I found her on TikTok and she basically makes some cool ass art from anime characters and puts hype beast slash streetwear clothing on them. And it definitely fills up most of the empty wall space that I had previously. So that's it for part four of the room renovation series. I had a blast working on this all week. And again, thank you guys for giving me the pressure to finally make an update to the room. I know it's been a long time, um, but here it is. Uh, everything looks really, really cool. Uh, I just had like, man, so much time last year and then this year is just like a difference of just going back to work, going back to everything after COVID, you know? So it's just, been a blast to finally be able to work back in my space and make it better. So what do I have plans for the future? I actually don't really know yet. The only thing I know so far is hanging up this light to the wall instead of having a C stand, which takes up space, but that'll be something super simple and I, I should be able to do that pretty easily. But as far as everything else, I might wall mount that TV in the back. There it is, my YouTube channel over there. Uh, again, uh, I just wanna make everything like seamless and work really well. I still gotta hide a couple of wires and I'm trying to learn how to like put wires through the walls and whatnot without making my dad mad because he doesn't like me puncturing to the wall because <laughs> you know, it's his house. But it's my room, so I wanna make it look really, really cool. So yeah, uh, again, just a summary of what we did. We added plants into the space, I guess, fake plants. Uh, we added those posters in the back. And uh, what else did we do? Uh, changed out the monitor, got a new mouse, and I guess just tidied up the place a little bit. I kind of like dusted everything, so that's pretty good. It's back to really, really clean. So yeah, I, I had a really good time working on this room, uh, and I just can't wait to work on it even more in the future. Just finishing this video off, I actually just hit a thousand subscribers and also hit 50,000 views, actually 52,000 views on my first part of the room renovation series. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the love and support, and especially a warm welcome to everybody who has just entered this domain of mine. <laughs> I just gonna, I don't know what to call my subscriber base, so I'm just gonna say domain for now, but thank you guys for entering, and I welcome you guys to this channel. No promises, but I'll try to make the best videos that I can, and I will always update you guys. I also found out there's a community tab where I can post like photos or little videos for you guys to get updated to what I've been doing, so I'm gonna be using that as much as I can but yeah that's it for the video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like the video hit that like button if you guys want to follow for some more hit that subscribe button and if you guys have any comments or like questions or whatever I'm always down in the comment section hit me down there I'll answer as much as I can and uh, yeah that's it for the video peace